Greetings everybody, my name is Tommy the Game Master and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about why I sometimes don't mind or don't bash some fan service games like Gal Gun but really come hard on the hyperdimensional Neptunia series and I can think of several reasons. Um, Gal Gun for the most part knows what it is, advertise what it is, and it knows its limits, and it shows you those limits, and it never really goes beyond those limits. You know what you're getting from it basically right out the gate, and I didn't find it too pervy. It was also correctly rated by the ESRB to be an M-rated game for older kids, for adults. And at the same time, I understand also what the message of the game and why the game's like that. When you're a young man, especially in high school, you kind of want to get all the girls and it kind of puts a twist on that to where it's almost a nightmare situation where your main character has to run from the women or get the crap beat out of them because they all kind of want them. And I enjoy that type of game. I enjoy that sense of humor and I enjoy that sensibility. The Hyperdimensional Neptunia games, though, kind of push the boundaries just a little bit too much um, to the point where they're creepy. Again, a lot of their character designs kind of go more for the cute and for the Lolita types. I can find that a little bit disturbing sometimes. Um, but I think the main reason why I get so angry when Neptunia tries to shove its fan service down my throat is it needs a little just because it's a goofy comedy with that type of art style. If it didn't have any, there'd be something missing. But it doesn't need as much as it gives us, as much as it is trying to sell us. It tries to sell itself as a fan service game, and I think that's a disservice to itself. Hyperdimensional Neptunia, when it is done right, has a lot of satire to it. Not just video game reference and a few jokes, but there's some satire to it. Some really cutting satire sometimes, too, in V2. I mean... You got an old guy, and that's why I said that's one of my favorite parts, just calling the AAA industry as this old, senile guy whose time is come and gone, and his whole setup is abusive towards people. I love that scene, because it's so true. And a whole bunch of other stuff when it comes to some of the biggest publishers in Japan when it comes to the Gold 3, and I just, you know, kind of ate it up. I enjoyed it that I really didn't need as much boob and some of the stuff they do is just kind of creepy. I didn't feel like it was needed. A little bit of it, yeah, but not to the amount that they sometimes push it. And that's what turns me off is, to me, I feel like this isn't needed in these games as much as it is. They have plenty of what they have just with its charm, just with its humor, and just with its satire. Anyways, this is Tommy the Game Master thanking you for watching. I'll see you guys later.